<sighs> as the world turns, as the world turns, um, interesting story coming out of UK today. Uh, UK police chief, they call him commissioner, but over here we call it chief, threatens to extradite jail U.S. citizens over online posts. Quote, we'll come after you. London's Metropolitan Police Chief warned that officials will not only be cracking down on British citizens for commentary on the riots in the UK, but on American citizens as well. Um, this is a fulcrum. This is a this is a a flashpoint in history, man, because the people in the UK, how they respond to this is going to um set the tone for the rest of Europe, and then, of course, America. Yo, you got to react like they're coming for your kids. They already took your guns back in the, what, 70s or 80s. Now they want to take your right to post online. People in the UK got to stand up about this. Us in America... We'll, we won't pay this too much attention and we'll, you know, sleepwalk and ignore the warning signs that Kamala and Biden and the rest of the Democratic Party are giving us that they're going to one day try this on us. Just like mass mandates, you thought it would never happen. You thought lockdowns would never happen. Yeah, they're going to try this on us here. And it may be as early as Kamala. Maybe it'll be the next Democrat president. I don't know. But they're going to try this on us. So it's interesting. And it's going to be important how the people in the UK respond to this. Because right now, as American, man, um, all I want is uh, for our president, um, Kamala Harris, who's the president right now. Let's stop acting like we're bringing joy back. You're the president right now. You're running the country, Kamala. Whatever joy needs to come back uh, should have already been here because you're in office. We need you to step up and say, Under no, in no uncertain terms will anything like this ever happen. Will we ever extradite a U.S. citizen to the U.K. for prosecution over an online tweet? But she won't say that, and she won't be held accountable. And since the liberals, lamestream media is run by far leftists, and conservatives don't have a spine at all, don't have an ounce of man tissue inside of them as a collective, uh, they'll drop it too. They'll let it go too. <laughs> soon as soon as the lamestream media let go of story, the Conservatives let go of it too. We just chased them around. What they talking about? All right, hey, uh, what they talking about? All right, hey, uh, what they talking about? All right, a thousand tweets, 200 videos about that. Okay, what they talking about now? We chase them around. We don't stand firm on any um, topics, man. Um, but this is a good one to stand on, man. Uh, London's Metropolitan Police Chief Warren that officials will not only be cracking down on British citizens for commentary on the riots in the UK, but also American citizens as well. We will throw the full force of the law at people. And whether you're in this country committing crimes on the streets or committing crimes to further a field online, we will come after you, Metropolitan Police Commissioner Sir Mark Rowley told Sky News. Riots have broken out across the United Kingdom in recent days over false Rumors spread online that an asylum seeker was responsible for a mass stabbing at a Taylor Swift themed dance. Well, actually, it was the son of asylum seekers. And, like, there have been a thousand attacks similar by asylum seekers, which is why people thought it was an asylum seeker. So they're completely gaslighting you. Um, at a Taylor Swift-themed dance event that left three girls dead and others wounded. The murders allegedly committed by now 
18 year old British citizen, a son man, a son man born in Rwand, born to Rwandan parents. A whole son man. Sparked a series of violent protests that tapped into broader concerns about the scale of footage of the violent classes involving anti-immigration protesters and a group of counter-protesters, some of whom have been seen waving Palestinian flags that's gone viral on social media. And the government is warning that sharing such content may have serious consequences. Yo, this is crazy. This is, but listen, this is coming. This is coming to America. We're going to get this in, in a few years. They're going to come for our tweets. They're going to come for our tweets and our posts. I promise you. And it's going to be Kamala. It's going to be the left. It's going to be the Republicans. It's going to be the, the people that talk about democracy and talk about fascism and all this stuff and dictators. It's going to be them doing it. So I'm interested to see how the people of the UK respond to this and how our president, Kamala Harris, responds to this because she's the president now. Joe Biden's not running the country. She's running the country. Joe Biden can't even wipe his butt, man. This is she's running the country now. So what is she? What is she gonna say, man? You want what to who citizens? You want who to what? What? That's the only thing that would be acceptable. Nothing is not acceptable. Something not that is not acceptable. The only thing is, what? You want who to what? What? Man, you got me. That's the only thing that's acceptable. Man, Um, get in the comment section. Hit the like button. Subscribe. I'm out of here. Peace out.